morning, Mira. Good morning. Oh, you're waiting for something, aren't you? This. You want this? You want this? Yeah, you're excited? Go get it. How are you feeling this morning, hombre? I'm doing pretty good, actually. Nice sleep. Yeah, nice sounds in the morning. Yeah. You know, the frogs and the wind in the palm. So, yeah, ready for another day on the Baja. That's right. The frogs are very cool. Usually you don't hear frogs when you're camping out in the desert, but because of this oasis, there was lots of aquatic creatures making noises all night long. Okay, we'll throw one more. One more, one more, one more. Okay, okay, okay. You are bouncy this morning. Yes. Our first stop of the day is only a few hundred meters away from where we slept. We're gonna have breakfast at a nice lady's house who actually fed us dinner last night. And dinner and breakfast a lot of times in Mexico looks very similar. We're gonna have tortillas and beans and eggs. And I love it no matter what time of day it is. ¿Cuántas tortillas ha hecho en, en su vida? ¿Y? <laughs> Cantidad de tortillas. Pero sí. mire cómo están mis manos. Ah, mira. <laughs> Por la tortilla. Por las tortillas. De veras. Sí. Vaya, no comen de esta tortilla. No. Pero de hechas a mano, es, no. Es algo especial de México. Sí. Hola, amigo, ¿cómo estás? Bien, dile, papi, bien, dile. Yeah, that's a soft yolk, that's... Handmade tortillas and eggs and beans, yes. This is my happy place, this is our happy place. Mm. That's right, buddy, make your, make your magic burrito. Oh. A little bit of fresh goat cheese. Oh, yeah. We got a happy Canadian. We do have a happy Canadian. Oh. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Vamos a regresar algún día. Prometido. Así es. <laughs> this mission seems a lot more rustic than the other ones I've seen in Baja. Exposed brick and much smaller as well. It's kind of funny they have a picture of Pope John Paul in here. That was a while ago. He always had a nice smile. There's a sign here. It's even in English, so I'll read it to you. The first site where this mission was founded was explored in December 1684. This building that can be seen was an annex which probably was used as a residence for the first missionaries that opened this California land to evangelization. Buenos dias! Wow, that's a little one. <laughs> yeah, you were close to him. <laughs> Going up. Just to give you an idea of how steep this is, we climbed up pretty high in just a short amount of time. Look. Racing down this downhill, and I saw this stick in the way, and I was like, "Oh, that's not a stick. That's a snake." Wow, what is this? Look at this beautiful snake. Ah, it's so fast. Darn it! I was hoping to give you more of a look. I'd never seen a snake like that. It looked like a garter snake, but much more tan. It was cool. He was out having a nice little morning sun until we came bumbling along. Carry on. went down a raging road, just <laughs> really long and really fast. But nothing's free in Baja, because you have to go back up, and I was just looking out this way. And way out there, you can kind of make it out. We're going back up pretty much the same grade we came down. John's gonna head up first. The sacrificial lamb up the giant mountain. I'm gonna sit down here and uh, drone it.
All right, <laughs> it's my turn. Oh boy. Ooh. <sighs> Ooh. Look how beautiful it is. All you gotta think is how pretty this is. It takes away a little bit of the pain, just a little bit. Hello, Shadow. How we doing? Oh, oh yeah. Come on, buddy, you got it. Yeah, Mira. Thanks for being here for me. Give me to the top. Let's go. We're close. I did it. Oh my god, that felt so good. I mean, getting here is good. Thanks for being there to cheer me on, bud. You wanna play a stick? Yeah, go get it. More than anything, I'm blinded from the sweat in my eyeballs. Oh. High five, bud. Good job. Yeah. Whew, that was awesome. Good you get a high five too. Yeah. You get a high five, huh? Riding by this little ruin here, and I thought at first it was an old mission, but it's probably a storage for grain. Look at this little door here. Hello! Can you imagine the work it would take to build something like this? Just back breaking work. Look at that! We got ourselves a wet Canadian. So good. Oh, yeah, that is cold, baby. That is nice. Feels good, doesn't it? You ready, bud? I know it feels good, doesn't it? I don't want to leave either. <laughs> that is the face of bliss right there. <laughs> Thank you, water rejuvenation. This is a very nice town. You can tell that. There is some tourism here, there's some money, and the mission is just stunning. So nothing lasts forever, and uh, it's time to say goodbye to our new friends. Oh, you know, I know, <laughs> you're trying to give me a high five? I'm gonna miss you, buddy. I'm gonna miss you so much. Yeah. I really appreciate everything, man. It was really fun to have your company for the past week. and Yeah, likewise. Yeah, it's been great. You know, it's really nice when you uh, just happen upon a, a person, yeah. you know, on the same route. Totally. And, and you can kind of... And we're riding the same speed. And, yeah. you know, we can talk all day. And it's That's been right. really... Yeah, and we share some been, similar interests. Totally. And you're yeah. a fast rider. I mean, it's really been wonderful all around. And, I appreciate yeah. everything and I love yeah. how life works and I love how life put us together. Yeah, you know? that's been great. Yeah, and I know I'm going to see you down the road somewhere. <laughs> totally. Some adventure or something. He's going to continue riding his bike around the world. <laughs> yeah. So I'll totally. uh, link to all of his information down below, but you're going to want to follow Mira La Perra. And uh, yeah, dude, thank you yeah, so thanks, much. Thanks, buddy. Un abrazo yeah. fuerte. Yeah. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah. And uh, now I have a new friend in Canada. Yeah, and yeah, you, you are so special. You are so special. <laughs> buddy. Can I get one more hug? Can I get one more Mira hug? Yeah, give me. She just likes to tuck in. This morning she was tucking in real good. Mm. Oh yeah. And the reason why we're saying goodbye, I didn't even say that. He's gonna oh, stay yeah. here. I'm continuing on, and you know that's just how yeah. the world works. Sometimes people come in and out of your life. You don't know how long it's gonna last, but uh, we definitely yeah. made the most. Well, of I guess it. just for the. The long afternoon and into the evening, maybe I'll stay here. And then yeah. We made the most of it, didn't we? We made the most of our time, didn't we, bud? Yeah, it's been a real pleasure. Yeah. She's going to miss you. <laughs> Where's Ryan? Where's Ryan? <laughs> Where's, Where's the, the guy that throws Where's the, the doozer? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Bye, Mira. Bye, John. It's amazing how quickly you can become comfortable with somebody and feels like I've known John and Mira for much longer than the six days we rode together. Really good people. I am so fortunate that they came into my life. Uh, look at that. Sorry for scaring.
scaring you. Ooh. Mira, where are you? I need my cheerleader, I need my hug. <laughs> Hello cows. Cheers. How about camping right here on the sand? I've been riding, 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 the sun's going down, and look what I found! Yes! Oh, baby. It's gonna be cold. Woo! Oh. Woo oh boy! La vida es maravillosa. That's pretty special. That is pretty special. Gracias, Baja! You know who would really like this camp? Mira would love this camp, <laughs> for sure. I'm so thankful I met them, I really am. And I, I really admire their relationship. It is incredible, it's like nothing I've seen before as far as man and dog. They've been traveling for three months since Canada together every single day. And it's really charming to see them interact with one another, you can tell there's really there's a lot of love there, and I've never wanted a dog. My excuse has always been, oh, I travel too much to have a dog, but there you go. John has a dog and he just travels with it, and uh, man, that dog has a lot of love. Whenever I stopped on my bike, it would jump up and say hi, and at nighttime it would come over and snuggle with me, and in the mornings it would come over and wake me up, and yeah, those two were very, very cool, and I'm glad that our paths crossed on this adventure. If I ever get a dog, I want it to be exactly like Mira. <laughs> Strong, athletic, and playful. I haven't felt that connected to a dog in a long time. And Mira taught me a lot in the six days we were together. She really did. She taught me about uh, just whatever, always be happy. It doesn't matter what the the terrain is if it's up or down or rocky or sandy it doesn't matter just keep just keep going with your tongue hanging out smiling and it'll be over soon and then when you get done with it you know throw a stick and have some fun and here I am alone again and this really is what I wanted out of this adventure I wanted to come out here and spend some alone time in the desert and really just be with my thoughts and think and plan for the future and get excited about you know, what's down the road, put some intentions into the world about what I want with projects and work and relationships and family and everything. And uh, here we go, you know, one week into this adventure and it's already been so rich and so full and I'm excited for what's to come. Very, feeling very, very thankful right now. Very, very thankful. And as the sun goes down, you know what I gotta do. Oh, 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 oh! shout out to John and Mira hope you're doing well I'm thinking about you guys I love you life Woo! man life just keeps on getting better and I really appreciate that and as I was riding this afternoon I was thinking about all the things I'm grateful for that life has taught me it's presented me with so many beautiful experiences both very difficult and just pure joy and i think you have to really you know go through the difficult moments to appreciate the joyous ones and i'm very grateful that i get to walk on this planet and bike on this planet and have a body that's strong enough to take me around and show me new things mm -hmm.